Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to stay connected. Hello friends and welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to look at how to add mobile money payment on your e-commerce store or websites. So without wasting my time, let's dive into the video and we will see how to add the payment gateway and start to process mobile money payment on your websites. All right, friends. So now there are three softwares we can use to integrate on any websites to start processing mobile money payment on your website but what we are going to use in this video is rave flutter so this software by far is one of the best software you can use to process mobile money payment on your e-commerce store so first of all what you need to do is to make sure you have an account with flutterwave.com so to do so you have to open your web browser and then come to the search and type flutterwave.com so once you type this address and then click on the enter key on your keyboard you will now be taken to this page this is the home page of flutterwave.com so once you are here you can scroll down and read more about the product or the software once you are here you can scroll down and read more about the software so once you are able to get more information about the software you can now come back and then click on this button where it says create an account so once you click on the create an account you will now be taken to the next page where you need to select the type of business you are operating all right now you will be directed to this page so here is where you select your business type your business is it operating as an individual, a registered business, or a non-profit business? So in this case, you have to choose the type of business you are operating your store with. So in my case, I will prefer to go with the individual business. So you I select the first option and then click on continue. So once I click on continue, I will now be taken to this page. So here I have to fill in all the required details and once I'm done, I come and click on create free accounts. I'm not going to do this because I already have an account with them. But in this case, in your case, you need to fill in your details and then you copy your website URL and then put it here. For the referral code, you can choose to use any code or you can leave it like that without putting anything. But if you still want to use a referral code, I will leave my referral code in the description below. You can use it over there. Alright, so once you are done, you click on the create an account. But I'm not going to do this. I have account with them. In my case, I'm going to, to log in. So once you click on the create an account, your account will be created for you. And you will be sent a confirmation link to your email. That is the email you provided here. So what you need to do is to go and open your email and then click on the link and verify your account. Once you verify your account, then you are ready to start processing mobile money payments on your website. So let me log into my account and then I will take you through the next step. All right, friends, I'm now logged into my account. So if you are able to also sign up and verified your account you are going to see something similar to this so this is now the dashboard this is where all the transaction which has been processed on your website will appear so here you will see your total account balance this is a fresh demo account so there is no any transaction going through in this account so in your case you will also see the balance here once you create the account and then you will see this one will give you a total balance and this is now the available balance so any transaction which has taken place it will be displayed for you here so once you are here you can come here and also see the other options that are being found here so for now we will not need to know much about this section 
for now all what we need to know is the how to integrate this software on your websites so now let's look at how to integrate this software on your website and start to process mobile money payment on the sites so in this case i'm going to log into my website dashboard i'm using wordpress if you are also using wordpress then you have to go and log into your wordpress dashboard all right so i'm now in my wordpress dashboard so now this is one of my demo websites i'm now in the wordpress dashboard and then once i'm here the first thing i need to do is to make sure i install the Rev plugin they have a plugin that you can install as a wordpress plugin so what we need to do is to come to the plugin section and then click on add new Alright, so once you click on add new, then what you need to do is to come to this search plugin and then search for Rave. You type Rave in the search button and then you will see the Rave options. So you have to make sure you take the first option, Rave WooCommerce Payment Gateway. As you can see, I've already installed it. So in your case, you need to install it and then you are going to activate it so once you activate you, you install and activate the plugin then you will see the option under your woocommerce settings so now what we need to do is to come to the woocommerce settings under your wordpress dashboard and then come to the settings section so you click on the settings okay so once you are on the settings page the next thing to do is to click on the payments tab all right so as you click on the payments tab you will be listed with the payment gateways which are being supported on this website so as you can see we have different payment gateway and here rave is what i'm going to use so in your case it will not be selected so what you need to do is to make sure you click on it to select it so once you click on it it will be selected and then from here you can click on manage to do some changes to the plugin if you need to do so all right so you click on the manage and then you'll be taken to the rev settings so here this is the rev payment gateway that is when you are when a customer comes to your website and he is to check out on your page, he will be see or he will be displayed with the Rave Payment Gateway. That is powered by Rave Payment Gateway. Let me show you what I mean. So now let me view my website in a new tab and then I will show you what I mean by this. Okay, so this is one of my demo websites. So let me scroll down and add a product to the cart and then I'll go and check it out and you will see what I mean. So let's say I'm going to check this product out. So I click on it. Let me take this one. I click on it and then it opens in a new display so that I can see all the details about the product and then I will add it to the cart. So I add it to the cart. I click on add to the cart and then product added so now what I can do is to come to this section once I'm here I will see the products which are already in the cart I can click on the view cart to see all the products there alright so these are all the products I have in the cart so once I click on proceed to checkout, you will see what I mean by that. Alright, so now my details are already filled. I then come to this section. As you can see, this is what I mean. Powered by Flutter Wave. So that is what this one means. And also the mode. This one, as you can see, I've checked the live mode. 
meaning I'm doing it as a test listen test mode so once you are ready to go live we then remove the unchecked all right so once you unchecked it meaning you are ready to go live all right so once you are here I encourage you not to touch anything here so you come to this session this is where it matters so here we have the rave test key that is the public key and the rave test secret key then the next one is rave live public key and the rave live secret key so now to get these keys you go back to your rave account so once you come back to the rave account we then scroll down to the settings tab so you click on the settings once you click on the settings then you wait for it to load all right so once you click on the settings you will now display with these options so here what you need to do is to come to the section where it says api you click on the api all right so now once you click on the api you will be displayed with the two options that is the public key and that of the secret key so now to get the key you just click on the copy link and as you can see this is the public live key this is the live key so now you come back to the grave settings or your woocommerce settings so you come and paste it here and then you go back to the rave account and then copy the secret key and then come and paste it here so once you paste it here then the next thing you need to do is to come and click on the save changes so once you click on the save changes then you are done with the settings of the keys so now from here you can go back and check out your page and see what will happen so let me go back and let me remove these items and then i will start afresh and you will see what i mean So let me delete let me delete these items and then i will start afresh and you will see what i mean all right so now let me go to the shop and then we will see one of the products all right so now let's add this one to the cart and then we'll go and check it out all right so now it has been added then i click on view cart all right so now as you can see i have one product here so i come to this section and then click on proceed to check out okay so now i come down and fill in my details my details are already there so i don't have to do anything there so now i scroll down to this section and then click on place order okay so once i click on place order the order summary will be shown to me here then what i need to do is to click on make payment and then as you can see this is the total the same item and then here i have options to choose i can pay with cards pay with mobile money and pay with data so i'm choosing mobile money that's the second option i click on it and then i have this option to choose the mobile money vendor so in this case i'm going with mtn and then i enter my phone number here and then click on pay so as i click on pay the customer or i will be prompted to accept the payment on my phone so once i accept the payments the money will be removed from my MTM mobile money account and then it will be added to my Rave account. So when I come back to my Rave account, I will see one transaction here with the total amount which has been taken from the customer. Everything will appear here. All right, friends. So now once you are able to follow through to go through all this process, meaning you are done with the settings anytime you get a purchase for your store it will appear on your rave account and this is how you add 
a mobile money payment gateway to your WordPress or e-commerce websites. Alright friends, thank you for watching and please, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share with your colleague. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.